doesn't matter if you use lubricant, it's a cat. So just don't do that. <laughs> Are we live, man? Yeah, Michael just woke up. Welcome to episode number six of the Marty and Michael podcast. It's fully actual. It's actually full. Oh. Um, fucking hell. What a fucking day to be alive. It's raining. I broke a pool on Michael's fucking back today. Mm. And he hit a tennis ball at me with thumbtacks glued it on we it. We went back to our roots. We did a video, um, yeah, for the social media and for the website. Obviously, we can't put the pool cue shit on the social media. And, like, I, I know what upsets people. We can't put that on. But, like, literally, we, how many times have we done the pool cue stunt on film? Twice? And they get deleted. Both of them got time. deleted. It's the rules. So, like, I'd love to show them to you guys, but we just can't, okay? But we got some cool shit for the social media cut anyway. Um, what else have we been doing? We fucking filmed Nitro Circus last week. Oh, my God. Fuck me. They had a huge fuck-off ramp. 15 foot. <sighs> fucking terrifying. Yeah, three foot added onto it so it was an extra big mega ramp and then like a hundred meters driveway mm. and then we just got on a trike and then you just fucking hang on because there's no brakes on the trike once you start that's it you, you can't bail out yeah so you get a lot of speed and then up a tish nish 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 and then straight up into this big bag count two, two. what happens if you bail out you just you'd fucking you'd fuck yourself up yeah like you can't you you'd run couldn't. into the the side or something you'd really fuck yourself would up. would you do it matt if you were there oh yeah, i'd have to assess I'd it i'd have to sense it yeah it had a concrete driveway you could oh, do what cute. julian did and just say that you would definitely do it and over and over and over not. again <laughs> <laughs> fucking julian's talk to talk isn't he he's he loves a good talk he we are yet to see the walk, the walk yet julian all right. Oh man, if there was a scooter there, I would. There was a scooter there. All right. <laughs> Fuck yeah, well, that was a fucking fun day. That was um four elements bullshit. Yeah. Um. And fucking what else have we been doing? Hey, shout out with the pool cue because you guys have been accused of not actually um doing it properly, but you guys have literally broken a. Prop yeah, Michael cue used ball. to go out and fucking dudes would come up to him and he'd just let them break random pool cues on him yeah but do you remember that that everyone uh, accused you of cutting it slightly so it would break easy no I'd do fresh yeah. ones full we one. literally key, bought it yesterday the key to a good pool cue break is you've got to commit with the full got 100% swing, swing, swing hard it's the first time today that I've ever done it to Michael I've normally gotten was, strangers to do it to me and, and Michael's done it to me a few times and yeah, because if you fucking miss, there's a sweet spot on the arm that you got to aim for. If you too high, hits his neck, he's dead. Too low, hits his elbow, broken arm. Oh, if that got the bone, yeah, you're fucked. No, oh, yeah. I'd probably prefer the neck swing over the elbow. Swing hard. You, you got go as swing hard, hard as you can, and then it just shatters into a million pieces. But you got a fucking bruise on your arm, though. Yeah. Show him if you can. Well, here we go. Watch him. He has to take his jumper off now, and he's in undies. Let's see if I can give him a bit of a feel no, while I'm he's doing this. <laughs> oh, come on. The people want to see the bruise, baby. Oh, come on. The people want to see the bruise, baby. Yeah, roll it up that way. See if I can get a little Don't touch Don't fucking there. touch me. Oh, I'll have a little one. I'll have a little one if I felt like it. Oh, I'm all hot. <laughs> Stop. Oh, 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 you oh, fuck. Oh, I got your leg out. I got your leg out. <laughs> 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 oh, here it is no you need to pull it down a little bit it's further you're nearly there I, I understand this is quite difficult for you but people <laughs> want to see it I'll have a feel if I felt like <laughs> it <laughs> oh you're so close come on you're so close if you want to see it go to the website by the way this fucking podcast is sponsored by the University of Markle Go there, support us, please. Yeah, look, this it, the University of Michael. It's our subscription oh. website. It's where we post all our uncensored shit that would get taken down from social media. Um, it's there's so many fucking there's so much shit on there now. We got a Discord you can join. There's the Facebook group where you can chat to us. We do our monthly Q and A's. It's a fucking it's pretty good. It's a pretty good. Huh? It's twenty one days free, by the way. So if you want to go and have a look, I was on the Discord last night, and I must say. 
We have some fucking rad ringworms there. Fucking I we do, bro. They were all getting into the clangs and the clungs and the clays and fuck. Everyone understands the gibberish. Yeah, they understand the language. I this like it. this all podcast is also sponsored by uh, Manscaped. Do you want to shave your testicles so that they're so smooth that you could put them in a girl and she would think that it's a penis? Well, then you're in luck because Manscaped has this where you can shave your balls so smooth that the, it even shaves the skin off. No. Oh, it doesn't shave the skin off. It's, it's like It's completely technology. safe. It's completely <laughs> safe. You can just... Whoops, done. Your balls are completely fucking clean. Use our discount code uh, fully actual and you get 20% off. So if you're going to buy some, if you're in need of a new shaver or some, some of this shit here anyway, just use our discount code because it's very good quality and then you're saving money. Think of the environment. <laughs> so Michael's just demonstrating how to use the crop mop, which is a little damp towel. Mm-hmm. That you can use to wipe your uh, balls, and now he's using that same towel to wipe his mouth and face, and he's licking it too. So oh, there you go. Just, just, just to go. Just goes to show how much we trust their products. Right? It's fucking good stuff. I've used it a couple times now. Haven't cut myself. It's so good. Having bats when you've got shaved balls. Mm. Is much funner. Do they get itchy when the hair starts growing back? A little bit, but that's why you you shave it again. I think I just, the first time you do it, yeah. But I I've been doing it for years. Yeah, because I just trim the balls. I've always been too scared to go at it. But you know what? It's time. Dude, it's time that I haven't I, you used it yet? Oh, I've used it on on other things, just not my balls. I've just sha- I just Dude, shave everything. It was else. designed for the balls. This is like yeah. I, I'm a huge fan. I fucking love it. Thank you. Manscaped. Also, they got Manscaper got this um, little shaver with an even extra fine shave if you need it. Well, there you go, everyone. And yeah, you get undies. Out, they eh? give you heaps of they cool got heaps shit. Of, just head to their website, manscaped.com, and Remember. they just look at all their shit. They got heaps of cool shit. And they sponsor the UFC. Even the UFC they fighters have the UFC, the smooth UFC balls. And this podcast. So it's like the same level. Same level. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's the fucking fucks this week. It's good to see a lot of people signing up with the website. So, well done, guys. Yeah, we're getting some good sign-ups. Did you guys see we got another episode? Oh, when you're right now, as you're listening to this, the newest episode of our series came out yesterday. And it's the one where she breaks her rib. All right, the rugby union one. I'm scared that, it, that like, because it hasn't been edited yet right now while I'm talking. And I'm scared that I'm going to look like a massive pussy during it. Because there's not that many hits, big hits, you know. And then after he breaks his rib, I just fully bitch out. Yeah, it's well, fucking I, terrifying. Man, if you see someone get broken, you don't want to step in after. Yeah, it's hard to go second when that happens, you know? Oh, that was a bad. Oh, Michael's t- taking over as the new fart. Yeah, yeah. I still don't. I don't know it's what been, the fuck. You is. didn't even do one all last week. Yeah, dude. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. They've stopped ever since the stress. Well, look, of honestly, yeah, the blood pressure. What the fuck is happening? Life. It's like. It must be the meat. Why are you wearing that? <laughs> Who? This. I thought it looked really cool. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm wearing a white cap and Michael said, why are you wearing that? I'm just picturing Marty going to his doctor and saying, I can't fart anymore. <laughs> yeah, what do I need to include in my- Yeah, there's I, beans. Yeah, they I, say. I eat fuck loads of beans. They don't do anything. It's bullshit. All right? It's bullshit. I need some meat. I need to make Tuesdays my meat day <laughs> and then just fucking play this recorder. Don't worry. It'll happen, guys. Yeah, right? we, we got like oh. another 34 episodes this fucking season to get so it done. Exciting. And we're going to do it. On so this days are fucked. Nah. I think you'd accidentally um, put in one of your diary entries. You must have accidentally like copy and pasted from your... From your work diary. Into... The on this days are you anyway, sure I don't know well it's weird you tell me after I read it okay oh. <clears throat> anyway on this days guys so on this day in history something happened it's crazy Matt does his research and this is what's happened this is all factual this is 100% legit remember yeah he did do that on this day in 1994, Gordon Ramsay received public backlash for a new dish at his restaurant. It involved evenly spreading an inch-thick layer of hot English mustard on a newborn baby's face, then shallow frying the face for two minutes. 
Then Gordon would remove the mustard and it ends up being a crispy mustard shell and soaks up a lot of the flavors from the baby's skin. Meat is then served in the mustard shell. The same baby can be used for multiple mustard servings before needing medical attention. And when asked for comment, Gordon simply replied, <clears throat> I'll stab you to death if you don't leave. Wow, that sounds like it's be all right. <laughs> is is a the baby dead? Well, no, it's living. And I guess the, the mustard thickness protects its face. I like burnt. mustard. That sounds like some Jeffrey Epstein fucking sacrifice. That was his favorite no, dish. that's not he the big the difference restaurant. between fucking kids and cooking them. Yeah, it's true. Or cooking on them or with them. Because it's not even you're not even eating the baby, and I guess it's sort of like cooking. And like I guarantee you, he'd pay those babies big bucks to do that, you know. So it's they, like, and they're still alive. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like they I'm, might. I'm all for it then. Honestly, people are so sensitive these days. <clears throat> <laughs> On this day in 2005, Miley Cyrus admitted that her song Wrecking Ball is about the time she tore through a childcare center on a horse <laughs> after feeding the horse a meth sandwich. The horse entered the center during a panic attack and trampled 16 toddlers, their tender skulls being caved in like soft cardboard pinatas. Miley said she never forgot the incident and wrote the song Wrecking Ball the next day. <laughs> she should go to it. Came in like a it's, it's like you can visualize the horse. Did she get in trouble? She was riding the horse. Yeah, well, I don't know. I guess the horse is responsible for its own actions. You eat a meth sandwich, something's going to go wrong. You know what I mean? We've all, we've all been there. We have, Matt. <laughs> it's when you laugh. <laughs> yeah. On this day in 2009, diary entry number 1245 from Matthew Gregory Brown. That is a lot. She still won't acknowledge me. Her smooth skin and soft lips. <laughs> what I would give just to run my fingers through her pubic hair. <gasps> Yesterday, I followed her home. She became nervous, which excited me. She even turned to look at who was following her. And as our eyes met, this energy coursed through my body and I quickened my pace. <laughs> I was disheartened as I heard her call her parents and announce that she was scared. <laughs> Foiled, I quickly sunk back into the shadows and tried to calm myself. I was so erect it was painful. I must regroup. I must try again. I must have her. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Matt, that's fucked, but I, I like it. I like it. I don't know about the parents. Yeah. Um. Oh, somebody sent me some fucking Barbie doll photos. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking, go back to last he's week. He's fucking relapsed. He's had a fucking relapse count. Oh, he's man. fucking loves his fucking Barbie It was doll. weird. It was yeah, like yeah, yeah. six Barbie dolls together, all na like no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> so nudes. I wonder if Instagram would remove that as well. Naked dolls. Well, these days they, they, they fucking, fucking would. would. Yeah. 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 It's time for questions. Mamma mia. Here I go, go again. again. My, my. Just how? how much I've missed her. Oh, should we... By the way, so this is a quick recap of what we're going to be doing this episode. The Hunt. We have some good and bad news about The Hunt. Um, we're probably going to have to change uh, the goal. Um, but so it'll just be a quick hunt this week and then we've got fucking we got PR with boxing we've fucking we got some shit sent to us we've got the fucking German segment and we've got the fucking prank call alright um, what about crime stories uh, and, and crime programs. stories yep. and yeah. we got some fucking crime stories okay cool <sighs> All right. let us begin with the questions alright question one is from Ruben mate um, Marty when do you think you'll run for prime minister and Michael, how long has it been since you wear shoes? Oh, I haven't really considered running for prime minister, but maybe in my older years, I might have a change of heart and do it. I don't know. You know, I haven't really had much of an interest in politics. I don't. I don't really um, oh, wear shoes. Yeah, um, would have been last week. This time last week, when you went to Toka, you were. Yeah, if I play sport, I wear shoes. If I go to fancy places, I eat out 
and about. And when you have showers, he wears shoes too. <laughs> he hates getting his tattoos. Yeah, I don't want tinnier. Yeah. My like a shit on that floor. Fungal so I'm infections. Not fucking- yeah, so he's well, Stand you know, that's that's why he got the shoes tattooed on his feet because he's always barefoot and his feet look f- like fucked as a result. Now I can go to cafes or local shops and I don't have to wear shoes, and the security guard doesn't annoy me, and the people at the cafe are very friendly and let me be. That's cute. <laughs> so that's that's how it hey, should be. That's, that's a good result, my friend. So 12 hours right of now. agony, life fucking scarred feet. Whatever. Shoeless. And it covers up all of the blemishes on your fucking claws as well. We did say that toenail. Yeah, it's growing. That toenail yeah, is growing. Like a Stanley knife. The same angle as a Stanley knife. Yeah. Same sharpness. Can you see it, Matt? Yeah, your right foot looks all right, but your left foot's fucked. Yeah, it's like yin and yang, good and evil. And they balance oh, your each left other one's out. really f- not good. I've seen him. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's disgusting. Next question is from Mysterious Boatman 789. Um, have you ever been to the UK? If so, what's the wildest experience you've had whilst there? I think I know this story. I've told it before. It may involve you and a bar. Yeah, we've been to the UK before. Oh, man, and we, we fucking, fucking loved that place. Yeah, we, we, we went to London, spent a fair bit of time in London, didn't we? Get That's a- where we first... Okay. We first had the white lines. Yeah, we first double taste. Yeah. 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 Was good old London. And man, it's so good the first time. Is the story I'm referring oh, to. Oh, you can't you, beat it. You chase it for the rest of your life, but you can't get it. Is the story I'm referring to where you handstand on the wall and. Oh, yeah, that was one, one of many stories. Look, we did some crazy shit while we were there. Michael came on his face. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. And walked around a bar with jizz, his own jizz on his face for a while. I ate my shit the first day we got there. <laughs> ate his shit. I did um, a, nearly a whole bottle of vodka shots for breakfast one yeah, morning. Yeah, I think what for 50 euros was it 50 quid? I don't think it was for money at all, was it? You got so drunk. Oh, God. So, and I was eating <laughs> chips as chases in between. Yeah, God. <laughs> that poor backpackers we were, oh, guys. Oh, man. Staying at shitty hostels. Jizzing on our own faces, eating shit and drinking. Yeah. Did you just... eat shit in the hostel? First day. They were... Th- We've told this story. Yeah, but was I it in was front meant, of I other was... hostel people? Yeah, yeah. It was in the room. It was all bunk beds. Everyone was like, what the fuck's wrong with this kid? <laughs> oh, Imagine being an 18-year-old kid. You've flown to London. You're on the travel of your dreams. And such a delicate bite. in a hostel bite. with fucking Michael eating shit. He yeah, had such dude. a delicate bite. And it was, I remember it well in his hands. And then he peeled his lips back. Uh, like that. Yeah. Just bit the it end was off. a big hard too. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> Lots so. of fun things happened in the UK. Yeah, UK is good. I'm trying to think of another thing that happened, but it's all blank. It's all a big blur because we were fucked a whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> this guy's fucking crazy, Dude. man. Next question is from Jasper Ryan Inc. Um, what are your thoughts on New Zealand? Mm, it looks really nice. I really would like to go there. Yeah, same. It looks fucking cool. Well, the, I know you know some good friend, a guy I used to live with, Dave. He's from New Zealand. Fucking legend. They filmed Lord of the Rings there. Yeah. yeah. The, and there's yeah, that's <coughs> actual. That's where like that's where it all began. Lord mm. of the Rings. True Middle story. Earth. I would, they've just got heaps of you can go snowboarding you can go down those big balls you can go skydiving jumping I don't get, jumping the only thing I don't get is why they all come over here because apparently that's a thing because they all want to come to Australia well I would think that because I'd, our dollar is better and they can earn more work yeah but not that here. much better and like New Zealand's got some pretty cool shit I'd love to live there apart from the fucking the earth's always shaking around and fucking <laughs> shit up man like there's so oh, many yeah, they had a little episode earthquakes there I thought no they were just all having tantrums maybe maybe that's what triggers it Matt maybe something to research eh? I'll have to check it out yeah, no, you, oh, yeah. something smells in here mm, no I can't say I've been able to smell since my nose got caved through my fucking skull cunt it's not the package we got is it oh no it's probably there yeah the, oh, that smells nice it smells off it's probably from when you is wiped your feet? testicles no. and then wiped your face might be it Next question is from Addison Leet forty nine. I know that guy. Um, now, a few people like this, and I wasn't sure where it's coming from. So maybe you guys can clear it up. But um, could you please do a video on the main channel where you do some cooking? 
I don't know why that's so we've people are seen those suggestions a lot lately people asking in the in our university group like who's the better cook and want us to do a cooking episode maybe we should just fucking do it we should just fucking we should just fucking what could we do cooking with kettles they're yeah. not referring to the time you cooked like the vomit because that was mm. fucked yeah, yeah that was, that was one of the sickest that. things that we've like, ever done cooking's fucking boring let's be honest <laughs> it's so fucking shit like I fuck I tried it for a bit I'm over it I'm never ever fucking doing it Michael again Michael just hates doing the dishes and shit after like so even he just throws them in the bin you come here <laughs> and there's no fucking cutlery anywhere and then you say Michael where's a fork uh, threw it out because you couldn't be fucked <laughs> washing it <laughs> Well, it's just because it piles up. Yeah, so you wash it as soon as you use it and yeah, it's easy to clean. But I didn't, so it piled up and then it was overwhelming for me. Yeah, so you threw it out. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Hey. Next question is from Beer Bows. Beer Balls. Beer Boss? Um, are you guys sure- Wait! <laughs> okay, I'm not going to touch. I'm not I gonna- trust you in this. Touched! Oh, I'm blacking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You touched! No, I touched. I touched for a reason. Is there shit on it? I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why I touched. I knew straight away that no sounds were possible. Why? Because I was this fucking close to your asshole and nothing was happening so then i was like fuck it i've got to i, I lashed out and i wanted to get it in <laughs> you can't make those decisions on your own <laughs> <laughs> that is sexual harassment <laughs> dude you're gonna have to, it like, wasn't a good one okay it was just a little fucking shoe on i need one of my good ones god i really pushed hard there. <laughs> 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 Yeah, really, yeah. It was, it was a lot of pressure. Didn't have much time to react. I got so sad as soon as I, I knew straight away that it wasn't going to work because I was this close. You need to no back sounds. up into it and just let it feel. It's not going to go <laughs> in. It's not going in. <laughs> no, 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 it's just I, I, touching I, honestly, on the, on the, the it edge. It will ruin the surface tension that I have, okay? I have a very specific <laughs> amount yeah, of tension no. on the asshole. <laughs> It cannot be touched. I can see that. I can see that because there has to be a certain sort of width apart. Yeah, I mean, if you touch a press, air will come out of one spot in the wrong you way. Might pop him. You might pop him. If there's a small slit of air and you put pressure on one side, more air will come out of that one. It's like a balloon. Think about it. So it's, I just need a good long one and we need to be patient, but we can't go shoving recorders up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. I wanted it. I wanted the sound. We need to trust each other during this and we cannot <laughs> rush the process. Okay. I, pro- I promise I will never touch it again. I don't fucking believe you, man. But we're going to have to come up with a new fucking theory or a new way of doing it. Because it's not going to work the way we think it is. What about one of those party things? You know, those party... Can we add a tube? Can we add an extra tube to the top where he can fart into Marty, the tube? and I'll it'll go- do that. If you... Oh, you're going to have to learn how to find your bum hole. <laughs> what if we just tape the recorder here on the, you, onto the table? And you and back, up, back into up into it. it. That is not a bad idea. It's hard idea. to see. It's hard to see. Yeah, yeah. How, it's just like, it's going to be easy with your hand. That no, you gotta, no, because I need both hands free. To, yeah, but then to we'll the, also get, it'll allow him because you know when he gets up in a mad rush. The next mad rush bit where he has to push up against it. I could guide it with my eyes. The more he down, the more he sits. Forward. The more he sits on the recorder Imagine like he's sitting I just on a dildo. Sunk right back into it and it went into me this far and then shit just came out of the little holes now at the end. <laughs> oh man, I'd pay money to see that. <laughs> anyway, uh, next question. Oh god. Um next question is from Beer Boz. Um are you are you guys sure the map around isn't really a hologram or some shit? Yeah, we were from this. Netherlands. He, he clapped and we got him on and we touched him. That's proof. Been done. Next question. Um, next question is from Lake McBogan. Oh, this is for me as well. Sorry. Um, 
This is directly and only for Matt Brown. Will you sign up to the University of Markle by the end of next week or get a University of Markle tattoo around your nipple? Yeah, Matt. What's the go, bro? You must choose one. What's the go, bro? <laughs> huh? Would you... Well, if Dude, we came there's to, so many good videos that you've missed out on. If we came to you for concrete, would you give us free concrete? No. You That's so wouldn't. true. What if I did? Well, then, I don't want fucking concrete. Well, then don't come to me for concrete. Fine. We have to go to. We have to support our friend because that's what we do. If but we need concrete. If we need concrete, we'll yeah. come to you. Exactly. We but will come to you. We want. Oh wait, hang here on. He goes. You got no, here he goes. No. Before I worked in concrete, I worked at a video shop. It was a lot of fun, and I had a good time. Also done photography. Not once did I ask for money or I gave you guys videos for free. Yeah, because that's what friends do and that is the standard. I don't know. This is tough. I'm going to have to meditate. You're going to have to Google it. Or not. Just Google it. Show us. It's like... Well, give us something else. Oh, I'm working in my underwear. What more do you want? Give me something. I want it like a... Uh, I don't know. Show me your ass. I want to see your ass. ass hole. No, no, just no, the ass. No, it's too much, Baby too steps. fast. I'm, a, I'm yeah, not that type you, of you girl. You can't scare him off. You got you to gotta play hard to get a little bit. Just the ass. I'm boring just seeing cheap. No, shay. It's better than I'll nothing. I'll give you one... I'm feeling quite sexy in these. Because okay. they're those right. um, ones that soak up your uh, sweat and stuff. All right. Well, let's see. So, the- I'll allow one... Little squeeze. Oh, we can grab you oh, and okay. shit. Just we'll a little in. squeeze. Mm. That's it. And you can't go too. I'm looking at you, Michael. Yeah, you Michael, cannot you are, go you are, too I'm, far. I'm Thomas. sensing a very excited energy coming Thomas. from you, Michael. You have to. You can't ruin this like you did the recorder. No, you're too fucking excited. Okay, I'm no, no, no. You scared him. I won't. You scared him off. I won't. Please, Matt. I'm sorry. I promise I'll calm down. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing fucking fairies. Oh. Yeah, imagine fucking straining like that every time you fart. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, just a little one, nothing yeah. else. I'll Promise. Just, I'll back into the shot slightly. No one's going <clears> to <throat> see my face. Don't go too far. I won't. Don't ruin it's this. Hard, I understand. <laughs> oh, it's so hard not to fucking... I'll go first. Mm, very firm, and yes, you're right. It's soaked up all the dampness that there usually is. Fuck! <laughs> 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 couldn't help himself. I'm at him. Oh my I'm god! What the fuck is this? Oh, it must smell. smell. His <laughs> oh, it's hot. Clean. I'm sweating in here. You ball have no ball fucking aircon. Yeah, no. It's what actually is- this is a cooler day. That's why I got a well, jumper on. What is what? happening to this yeah. podcast? Yeah, Scott, thank you, thank you, Manscape. Ball wiping, recorders in asses, ass grabbing, my fingers. Oh. Next question is from Sam Warner. Jesus, um, what type of moments are the ones you cut out of the podcast? I feel really intrigued by missing that part of content. Yeah, that's a good question. I assume it's Marty screaming and Michael saying some questionable shit in a hilarious way. Uh, yeah, usually it's shit that we think is probably too um, fucked up to, to put out, like things that might offend people too much. Or it's Michael's attempts at reading shit. <laughs> 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 or um, what else? What else gets cut? Um, just when there's like long breaks. Yeah, in, when it's in a bit boring. Or if it's like a question shit. We'll cut it if it's like if it's just like something dead air. Sh- it's something shit or just yeah, it's it's nothing special. You, you aren't missing out on much. Look, there's some good shit. There's probably some good shit that gets cut out, but it's quite um, offensive. Yeah. Sometimes we'll just say some offensive shit to get the mood up and going. You know, like yeah. like for example, Matt likes to really target. Um, he hates abortions. Yeah. Oh. You do, mate. Like you get so pissed if you see any abortions like lying around the house, you squash them like that. Any abortions lying sick. around? Sick. You say around the house. sick. Oh yucky. Sick. Oh, not even finished. You say that. Oh, I'm moving on. I'm <laughs> moving on. Next question. See, now we're tempted to say cut that, Connor. <laughs> but, okay. but we're just going to give you a little hint of what. what we're, <laughs> so we're going to leave it in. We're not leave that one in. <laughs> 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 Not finished. That's a great line. Okay. Next question. Next question is from Cringe Rot. (laughs) Cringe Rot. 
Um, Very good name. Oh, this is a serious question. This guy has some a dilemma and needs the Marty Mockle advice. <clears throat> I feel I could add to this because I'm going through it. Uh, is it worth quitting weed forever for a new full-time job that drug tests you? No. Let me finish. Fuck. And we'll continue to drug test. It's a sad reality that I'm facing. If a job fucking makes you do anything you don't want to do, you fucking quit. Well, I would... It depends if that job is a stepping stone to something you want to do in the future. Like, it's just weed at the end of the day. Like, you, you, you fucking... If you go a few years without... It's, it's fucking ridiculous. No, what about forever? Uh, yeah, of course not. Well, it depends how much you love weed. If, 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 if someone said, no. you can't make videos if you smoke weed, I'd stop smoking weed. You know, because you, because yeah. the, you know, I don't, you don't need to be high. But that's that like, you know, but what about if you're working at some fucking little cubicle, and the boss upstairs is like, all right, we're gonna start drug testing. No one can smoke pot, and then you work for your fucking thirty bucks or twenty bucks an hour, answering calls all day, and you can't go home and have a cone or a joint. While you watch your shitty home and away. Yeah, well, it depends what the end goal is. If this is contributing to your end goal, I would say, yeah, fucking oath. Do it and don't smoke weed. But if it, if it, if this is just another job, no, don't fucking do it. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to support a family as well. I would definitely quit so you can make money. Yeah. And then just give the weed to your kids. But the way things are going, we could be looking at legal weed. Um, another thing you can do, though, is some people are, uh, you could you could try and get medicinal marijuana, get a script for it, okay? Um, yeah. Just fucking yeah. If you get a script for it, you sweet. But if you like smoking weed and that's your vice, don't fucking quit it because some job told you to. If it's just a nothing, another job, yeah, I wouldn't quit I'm, it if yeah. it's just a fucking random job that you need to do, you know. But if it's fucking something that's going to lead to amazing shit then yeah i'm guessing it's something to do with you know operating machinery or something but cringe right if you could comment what job you're trying to go for and then we'll see what areas um actually don't drug test because some do and some don't i work in an industry where they do drug test but not all areas of my industry drug tests so and we're always yeah. blowing our weed smoke in Matt's direction and he freaks out and legs it. It's very, yeah. very funny. It's very funny. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to sit there on boys' trip on, on weed night and just laugh along at For everyone's fucking, laughter. You, do you have... Oh, I guess you do get drug tested. If I was in a job where I was getting drug tested, I would risk it. And yeah. if I got fucking done, I got done. See you later. Go to the next job. But if I was in a job where I didn't get drug tested, then I wouldn't smoke pot. Yes, you fucking would. You were yeah, fucking yeah, stoned out of your mind whenever we were Uber driving. <laughs> hey, <laughs> other people's a lives good, in your hands. Uh, you can drive better, some people. A good yeah, thing no, though. A good thing better. though, when it comes to getting drug tested at work, a lot of there's a lot of industries that don't do it. So there's always like opportunity out there for anyone. Oh, I feel like getting baked now, Michael. You are being so ridiculous. Next question is from Sabrina. Um, what makes you guys proud about your ringworm community, which Matt Brown is still not joined? I said this at joined. the start. This is fucking why I love them. I was so stoned last night and Julian's like, join the Discord. I was like, oh man, I don't want to talk to my fans when I'm high. <laughs> what not to say? But I was there playing golf with Julian. They watched a little. God, it was cute. And then all I had to make was just sounds like clangs, clungs, and clays. Just the classics. And they would just, I, like, they'd understand me. And then <laughs> I'd be like, okay, wait, can I hear a clang or a clay? Well, you have to do a clang or a clay for people who don't know what the fuck you're okay, talking about. Me, it's hard. It was my eyes roll back. I really don't want to <laughs> yeah, go no, on a Yeah, do it. Clay. <laughs> And like, I, could, I, t I probably said it over a thousand times, 3,000 times the last two days. Fans were doing that for me. And it was the best moment ever. I was having the best giggles. They understood it. We communicated with just clays and clangs. <laughs> and that's what it's about so for me. I guess what Mark is trying to say is it's lovely to have a community where everyone has a very sick, similar sense of humor. Because we like to make people laugh. And, and these people are the people that... 
that la- that la- it's really easy to make them laugh because they, they have the same it. sense of humor. Um, qu- can you explain Discord quickly? Because I'm pretty new to it, and I'm guessing there's a lot of people out there that are new and probably want to join that Discord. Discord's like an app. Discord is can only be ringwormed if you fucking sign up to our university. Yeah, you can only it. access our Discord if you sign up for the university. So I guess I can't do it. <laughs> no, man, you're fucking out, cunt. But what it is is basically you. Ju- it's just like a live chat. You people just message, and then you, there's like fucking. I don't know. We just send messages in you there throughout the day. Call. You can video call. You can send your memes in there. It's just it's we just a cool voice, little app. Voice call last night. It was fun. I was there for like, like two, two and a half, half hours, hours. <laughs> playing golf against Julia, and then just listening to Clay's from my fans. I'll tell you another fucking fun thing that we've started doing oh, is yeah. fucking on TikTok lives. Just trolling, trolling people on TikTok lives until like they notice you. It is fucking hilarious. I I started this huge argument in this other TikTok live a couple of nights ago between these two dudes. One guy was live and one was commenting and they were having an argument. And then I pretended like I was on the side of the guy commenting and made it seem like he had been telling me other shit about the guy who was... It was just fucking beautiful. It's so entertaining. That and also trolling comment if you see marty and michael commenting on random posts from now on it's just a bit of a just trolling like there'll be like animal videos that pop up on the feed and all this other shit and i just write really fucked up shit to get a reaction out of people and it works every time it's fucking gold yeah i i must say i enjoyed the tiktok live shit the other night for about three hours yeah you just get lost in it but yeah our community is fucking it's just like a loving funny just group of fucking weird legends yeah like everyone just they've got a good sense of humor they get it get fucking uh, get it i got it and they're not it's just yeah it's just fucking bunch of good people real yeah people. I, I, I like them i like you uh next question is from dan dello uh have you guys ever filmed an episode of fully actual that you didn't upload no. no, there's heaps of... Sometimes there's... Um, oh, there's another thing we cut out is prank calls. If they're like, they'll be call, ringing and ringing and then people don't answer or sometimes they answer and, and realize it's a pr- prank call straight away. So we just cut all that shit out. But there's never been an entire episode. Yeah, no. we never cut a full episode. Although we did do one episode where Michael was absent. So that wasn't really enough. Well, that was episode. more of an update. Yeah, it was like yeah, a 10 minute update. update. <laughs> and um, fucking... What, did we ever do a practice episode? No, I think we just went straight into it. <laughs> there you go. Next question is from Manny Garcia. Um, <laughs> what happened to Matthew Gregory Brown from Wholesome saying three? Um, I guess three was sort of part of season two. And yeah. We had a good time with that. And then yeah, you we, don't want to overdo it. Then we called it a day. He has to think of a new number now. Yeah. Thirteen. 13. I still saw, I, when, when I go to the games place and the basketball's there, I'll go you'll, three. You'll rip it out. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll do the three, my own three and as I'm shooting. crowds form when he does that. I've yeah. seen crowds of people applauding. You know when you see like breakdancing crowds start circling? Yeah, I've been it's there. It's a similar thing at the games place. A three crowd. Mm. The next question is from Lottie48. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Lottie no, just went down. Uh, what happened to Connor? He seemed to vanish one day. Where did he go? Connor is, is He's still here. I was hanging out with him two weekends ago. He came over his house. Connor is the one editing these podcasts. All of, all of, his, all of his comedy genius is, 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 is right timing. there. He's right there. And He's, check his channel out, Cracker Milk. Yeah, they're mm. fucking hilarious. Cracker Milk they're, like, they're, Very they're going like, what are they on now? How many subscribers? They're, why, they're over 100,000 on Oh, yeah, YouTube. they're like 170 or some yeah, shit now. Yeah, dude. Man. Like good sketch comedy. Very and quite crude. Quite, uh, you know, up our alley. Quite um, pushes the boundaries. Yeah, very if dark. If you are of one of those fucking snowflakes, don't go over there because you'll probably be like, oh, no. Oh, you've hurt my feelings, oh, man. Shit, man. Oh, Me and Connor have little flirts when I send him the raw podcast. I see. Mm-hmm. Enjoy it. My so weekly much, flirt with Connor. So much male flirting in Sometimes he doesn't <laughs> reply, though, and I get, weird, I get a bit weird about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, next question is from TJ Van Eyck. Um If you could be the main actor in a comedy movie, what movie would you pick? Billy Madison. Yeah, that's good. Anchorman. Yeah, well done. Fuck Both of what I expected. Oh. I expected Marty Pete to be- Pete Sampras' wife, you get to get with her. You get to fucking oh, yeah. act like a silly Billy kid. And your favorite line. Call the zoo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got every line from that movie is my favorite. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, that Veronica Vaughn. You get to hang out with some rad actors. Oh God, oh, it's a good so film. Good. <laughs> Fuck. Um, um, next question is from Cosmic Ace. After doing the metal detector prank, did you guys ever hear anything about someone finding the box with the pictures after someone stole the first one? No, nothing. I reckon someone's just thrown them in the bin when they were disgusted what they found. I haven't heard anything about it. And to be honest, I'm a bit uncomfortable now that you've brought it up again. I'd push that to, back, to the back of my mind. <laughs> But thank you for reminding me. And um, he actually asked two questions. The other one was, do you guys recommend moving to Australia? And what's the pro... Oh, what's, what are the pros of moving there? I'm from Germany. Yeah, it's, Australia's pretty fucking... There's heaps of jobs you can get. It's a pretty nice place to live. People are pretty cool. Yeah, it's fucking not bad. I, I made it. the move from fucking... Germany was pretty fucked up when I left, though. <laughs> Next question. Um... Actually, sorry, that was the last one. <laughs> oh my god, Matt! Oh, Matt! I can't believe he said that. Like there was another one. Oh, I'm actually embarrassed. That I like is to get so to the end. Fucking and... fucked, man. Leave that in, Connor. That's no, like, don't leave that. Show him how raw it is, man. Like how many mistakes did this guy make? Fuck, man. It's hot. You are so mm, fucked. fucked. What's the sweating has stopped now? It's starting to cool down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's nice. It's very dark. All right. Uh, do you want to kick off crime? Yeah, let's just do a few. Right. Flu, flu, flu. The crimes are everywhere is the name of this segment. <laughs> <laughs> and we read out some of the worst crimes that our followers have ever committed. So if you want us to read, it's all anonymous. So all you got to do is just DM us on our main Instagram or the Marty and Michael for the actual Instagram, the crimes that you have committed and we won't snitch on you or nothing you have our fucking word right what is that crime story for the podcast in 2013 i robbed a petrol station in germany with a plastic gun while i was drugged up i got caught by a group of joggers when i was running away these fucking fast cunts slammed me on the ground and i got arrested lucky i just got three years probation i can still remember the eyes of my mother when she picked me up from the lockup the next morning she looks so proud so I might try it again one day without getting caught so I can make my parents even more proud and rich. And I could also give some money to Matt Brown so then he can finally sign up to the website. Oh, that's pretty good deal. Man, I, I thought I heard this story on the news the other day that someone robbed a 7-Eleven or a Servo, not with a fake gun. I can't remember if that was in there, but joggers ran them down and, and fucking... Dude, if you get... You've fucking done armed robbery and you get three years probation. Well, it's, not, it's like a fake gun. Still, if they don't fucking know that. That is like... The joggers did. People. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty fucking good. I'm yeah, impressed. We should do that for a video. For a video, yeah. The 7-Eleven challenge. How much cash can you get? <clears throat> <laughs> a bank foreclosed my house when I was 17, so I set it on fire. The house was empty and no one was hurt by it. But I was later caught. Did not go to jail, but I did receive three years probation. And a criminal record for the rest of my life. Dude, what? are you what? seeing what's going on here? No. If you commit crimes... Maybe it's your, if it's your first one. Why is that guy 17 and owns a house? Maybe it's his parents' house. Maybe it's the same guy. Three years probation. That's what happens if you commit crimes. Yeah. It could maybe it's the same country. Or maybe Once here in it. Mexico with a bro, we were smoking a fat joint with, with wax almost inside a 7-Eleven. Don't know what that means. It was like 1 a.m. and the fucking pig showed up and my bro p passed me the joint. And since I didn't know where to put it, I hid it in my balls when it was lit up. <laughs> oh. The police searched us and made us take out our sneakers to search drugs. At the end, we went free, but my balls were burned. My bro thought I was a fucking magician. Yeah, and he got good. three years probation. Man, that would have been scary, especially yeah. in Mexico. Oh, Mexico. and you'd have to like, it'd be burning your ball yeah, skin and you'd, and just you'd just have to keep cool. a straight face. Like, oh, all right. This one went to my local strip club years ago and my old Macca's manager was the bouncer. We never liked each other. We said g'day and I heard him say cockhead under his breath. After I spent all my money, I left and saw his car up on the road. So I caved the door in with a Sparta kick. Oh, man. Oh, I do those at Toka. I was arrested on my 13th birthday for vandalism and the court made me do 40 hours of community service in the care of someone who was three years later was 
one of my first Americans to have the FBI seize their hard drive. Oh. oh. So the ca- the dude who was monitoring the community service was three years later found and under the FBI watch with a huge hard drive of fucking kid porn. Kid porn. Fucking Kids. hell. This was like 1999 when he got arrested. He did not touch me luckily, but he committed suicide a couple of years later. Oh. So he had a chance to get fingered. Whoa, yeah. He, he, I wonder if he'd be kind of offended that he never sort of pulled any moves. You're not like you? a hot enough kid yeah, for him or something? Oh. Yeah, he's, you, How yeah. does he know that he just wasn't being watched? Cameras and showers and all kinds of shit. Yeah, but like you're fucking what doing community service. You're not in a shower doing community service. Wasn't he saying he was in the care of him though? Yeah. Then During just for him? the 40 hours though, surely. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, oh, all right. So, he was just spending time with him on occasion. You never had the opportunity. You're picking up trash. To get, to get it's like he's watching you. You wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. You're not like in a, in a church or anything. Yeah. But. That's pretty weird. You'd be like, fuck, I dodged a bullet. Mm. Or I dodged a finger or yeah. a tongue lashing. Or a dick lashing. Oh, Ooh. man. I, just, I can't even picture that as a kid. Yeah, it would be rough. I wonder what, like, how distorted your like perception of sex, sex and stuff would be. Yeah. Oh, anyway, let's move, let's move right along to a segment called... The <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so the up latest with Carl. So I sent him a message and uh, he read it. And then I sent him another message and yeah, he read it. Um, has he replied? No. So we had a chat today. Um, you know, we, we thought we're either going to go all out here with Carl and like either and, 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 and fucking make him hate us, which is a fucking very high possibility here if we keep annoying him. And this, that could potentially ruin any future chances we have at anything to do with Channel 9. So, I sort of thought, fuck, maybe we should not do that yet. Maybe we should work our way up to it. All right. And right before the podcast started today, we were like, fuck, we, we probably need to change the horns objective and try and think of something else that we can do on the horn. Oh, I thought you were going to shit. Damn it. Um, so, uh, well, you know, we thought, what else did we, did we toss, toss about? I wanted ideas? to, I want to see if Olivia Newton-John would go on a date. With yeah. Her. And I sort of said, she's too old and like irrelevant. She probably doesn't even check social media. And then we talked about Chris Hemsworth, but then we looked at his Instagram. He doesn't even, he posts like once every two months and doesn't even reply to anyone in the comments. Shane Warne to be the, we, we wanted to send him a fidget spinner. And get him to spin it. To spin bowl a fidget spinner. We wanted to sing Delta Goodrum a song. Yeah, just have her yeah, sit down. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh, that is a normal idea. Maybe we could get her to fucking, what's it called? Duet watching us sing one of her songs and she has to be happy about it. Smile. What could she do? Judge it. Judge send, it. Send us a lock of her hair. I don't really want it. Uh-huh. We could frame well, actually, it. I could use that. Yeah. Oh, he could attach it to the flashlight. I could, no, I could fucking do spells with it. <laughs> Put it up in there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Well, Delta Goodrum, we're coming. What? No, no, wait, I don't kidding. know. Look, we haven't decided yet. We're going we're gonna to have a week off from the hunt. And, and figure it out but should we throw it to the fans yeah yeah, yeah. guys some put Comment. some suggestions in and also keep the questions coming we forgot to mention and vote for which <laughs> questions you want us to answer because we'll always ask the questions with the highest amount of likes if your question isn't, isn't in the top list one week just ask it again the following week all the comments help fucking subscribe by the way if you're fucking yeah. watching and it? you're not one subscribed or one third one third of people who listen to the podcast are not subscribed that is fine and, and I get it because I do that too with a lot of YouTube channels but I'm asking you very nicely, please, just take a second here and press the red button. It takes literally a second. If you have to sign in via Google and shit, I get it. Don't worry about it. But if it's easy, just please, or comment for support. Yeah, just comment, oh, comment. All you got to comment is it's the comment. word comment, and, and that that's helps. It. That's it. Huh? All right. So, you guys figure out the hunt. 
We'll put our heads together next we'll, week. Will you guys put in some suggestions? We'll come up with some suggestions. And then next week, we start a brand new hunt. Something we can fucking put our teeth into and really fucking... And something where we don't not worried about the repercussions. Because Carl, yeah. like I could. I like Carl. He's yeah, a cool oh, man. dude. Yeah, it would be so... Yeah. <sighs> bunter. It's good bunter. And if, it could be a hard one. We could be here to the end of the season trying to get 110%, it. 110% Matthew Brown. 110% Matthew Brown. So the next segment, right, you dogs send shit into where this P.O. box right here and we open it live on the podcast and we have some packages today. So let's fucking get into it. This is the P.O. unboxing. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, our first package is from... Hey, guys. Flugenschlagen. Flugenschlagen. Flugenschlagen, he said there. All right, this is uh, from our friend Maitland Hanley's his merch he sent us. This is a surprise. He didn't tell us he was doing this. So he's uh, called Young and Dumb. Um, oh, these stickers don't come off. Look. Oh, no, I got it now. I was going to say fucking shit stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. There you go. Boom. Young and dumb. He's got his fucking... He's got some shirts. Large, large. He knows. Dumb. He knows our sizes. And he's written uh, Flugenschlagen. So, which, which means um, wing hit. Flu, flugen. Flugen is like a wing. Mm. Is it? Man, I forget. I'm, my German? German is like fully... Schlagen is to hit. Schlager. Oh, is that? I thought you were making that up. That's a real German. <laughs> no, I think it's just something that like Australians say because it sounds really German, but it does make oh, it doesn't God. make sense. Wouldn't surprise quite. me. But yeah, fuck. Thanks, Maitland. Anyway, I'll fucking wear that on when I go for a skate. I might young wear this. And dumb. Has Maitland got a? He's got a young and dumb Instagram. I'm pretty sure, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure fucking does. Go and check the merch. No consequences. Next! When you're young and dumb. To Marty and Michael and Yulia. Hi, my name is Kinnan Machen. I live in a small coastal town in Queensland called Harvey Bay and have recently graduated high school. I'm writing to you guys to say thank you for all the great videos and, and for the inspiration for the shit my friends and I got in trouble for. The first video I saw of yours was the Tack Ball Tennis. I have since been hooked. I'm loving the... I'm loving the new vlogs on the website and I can't wait to see what the years bring. I've included some photos from some of my favorite videos, which I would love if you could sign and possibly a sexy shot of Julie. Julie asking for a friend. Wink, wink. All the best. Yeah, we can sign these. All right. So this is us on a fishing boat. This is um, Michael and I. <laughs> and then we have, oh, that's a great um, photo with you in the pot. <laughs> we have uh, me planting Michael. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, what do we got here? We have uh, Marty and Michael covered in egg. One of the website videos. These are most of these are website videos so far. And then we have the um, court where we, the court date. We got out of court. Very handsome young men here, aren't we? Oh, oh, very nice that one. And then here we have me uh, screaming into Michael's ear as um, Calvin. Calvin. Yeah, fuck. Bullying Michael. You would have seen that. Matt. And oh. um, here we have Michael after a bender. Yeah, that was a good Some night. residue on his face. Yeah, Maybe. all right. Well, Matt, we'll sign them and we'll give them to you. Yeah, I'll take over. There you go. Thank you for that. And thank you for supporting the fucking shit out of us, brother. Yeah, toot, dude. Toot, 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 toot. If you're a member, then fucking thank you. Flugenschlagen. <coughs> all right. I'll keep this letter. Is that it? Now we just pump out a fucking prank call. What are you, you talking about, man? We have to speak some German. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Okay, all right, I'll get through these as quick as I can. Uh, so this segment, I just read a German, <coughs> a common German phrase in a normal, calm way, as if I was having a conversation with a fellow German. Du bist auf dem Halt. <clears throat> Let me start that again. <laughs> du bist auf dem Holzweg. Auf dem Holzweg. <laughs> you are on the wood way, which means you're wrong. So wood is the wrong way in Germany. <laughs> du bist auf dem Holzweg. 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 
Das ist nicht mein Bier. Das ist nicht mein Bier. That's not my beer. <laughs> not my problem. So a beer means problem. Ugh, das ist nicht mein Bier. So it's, it's someone saying, oh, it's not my fucking problem. Is beer beer in German? Beer, yeah. Beer is beer. Oh, das ist nicht mein Bier. Das ist dein Bier. <laughs> why, would, why not say this is not my problem? Because this is a far more it cuts through to the heart of another German. Because beer is German. Mm. All right. Very, I've actually said this one to mum heaps. Sorry. Reiß dich zusammen! <laughs> Reiß dich zusammen! Something about salmon? Reiß dich zusammen! Which oh. means... Salmon? Rip you together. Which means pull yourself together, mate. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be pull? Why is it rip? Rips apart. I, I always think during the week of really weird English sayings, and I always think to use them for examples for when you get confused, but I always forget them. But English It's more is anger. Just as, English is just as fuck. This is a very beautiful linguistic language. Like, there's a lot of... Uh, you never rip something together. You rip it apart. So, uh, that is bullshit. It's very... Um, there's a lot of... A lot of back of the throat muscles used. It's very, it's 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 quite sexual. Does German language? <laughs> yeah, it's quite sexual. Does the German very? language sort of, I guess, like split around like its borders, like the countries that border it? Like, do, do those countries learn German? Yeah, a few of them. Yeah, yeah. there's some German speakers on that border Germany. Yeah, like Belgium, Austria. They speak some weird ass German. Remember Belgium, remember Austria. Yeah, I remember Austria. What happened in Austria? We got naked. Well, <laughs> shocking. That's when we, we pretended we were gyroscope and it worked. Very well. Very well. Let me tell you something. We, we can't talk about Back it Back right when now. you guys are young and dumb. Woo! 100, <laughs> 110%. Uh, um, all right, let's finish the podcast. We're well over time. Let's finish the podcast with a prank call. What did we say we we're going to do again? I we can go from happy to angry. <clears throat> You've got bipolar. Okay. Um. Hey, how are you? Can I just place a um order for pickup, please, if that's okay? Yep. Place an order for pickup. Awesome. Thank you. Um, it's quite a big one. Um, do you guys have? So you guys have nachos, right? Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, so can I just get two serves of the nachos, thanks? They're so uh, good from you guys. What uh, meat would you like in those ones? Um, so I'll get one one with the chicken, and um, I'll get I'll get beef on the other one, because, like, yeah, and it's my favourite. Yeah, and thanks. And was that a regular large for both of those? Um, oh, look, I'll make them both regular. They're just more sides and stuff. So, yeah, I'll just, I'll just get them regular uh, things. What's the name for your takeaway? So the name is Brendan. Brendan? Yeah. Yeah, right. And um, I'll, I'll get um, a couple of burritos as well. Um, a couple of burritos? Yeah. Uh, I'll get... Um, what's that? What, what, what's the burritos called again? I th oh, well, as soon as you say its name, I'll... I'll the, the Ultimate Burrito or the California? Yeah, the California. That's the California? one. Yeah, I had yeah. that one before and it was so good. I'll get one of them um, and uh, I'll get... Chicken, pork, vegetarian, fish... I'll, I'll get that one chicken too, please. And um, can I get extra cheese on that? Is that all right? Extra cheese on that one? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, so yeah, one California one, and um, I'll get um, two of the um, uh, just just standard bur like just normal burritos. Do you know what I mean? Like just um, uh, I don't have the menu in front of me. Sorry. No, um, that's okay. So yeah, just um, we just have the classic chicken burrito, pork, vegetarian, fish, or chili beef. That's beef. the one, the classic. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'll get two classic bur uh, burritos, and I'll get both of those um, with with beef meat. Okay, beef meat. I'm sorry? I'll get both of those classic burritos with beef meat. Oh, beef meat? Yes. Yeah. And um, large or regular? Uh, regular? Yeah, just and regular. for your uh, California one, did you like, would you like guacamole or sour cream on any of those burritos? No. No. no none for them? No. Yeah. Um, is that it? No, um, that's not all. Um, okay. I'll also get um, drinks. You guys got drinks, right? Like, yes, surely you have do. drinks. Yeah, so can I get like, um, you guys got what? 1.25 litres or 2 litres or what? Well, what sizes uh, do you have? Cans and bottles. Yeah, so how big are the bottles is what I'm asking? Uh, 600 millilitres. Right, okay. Well, give me, give me five 600 mil bottles of the, um, the Coca-Cola. Thanks. Uh, we only have Pepsi. What, <sighs> what do you mean? Pepsi? You know, what do you mean? When this happens... Wait, so you only, well, can you maybe go to Coles next door and get some uh, Coca-Cola or is, is just Pepsi uh, the only thing available right now? Is that what you're telling me? Just, 
No, we just don't sell Coke. We sell Pepsi. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Look, scratch the drinks, all right? I'm just going to get a shitload of sauce, all right? Okay. What sauces have you guys got? Like, I'm talking massive bottles of sauces. Do you guys sell that or not? No, we do not sell massive bottles of sauces. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> right, okay. Um, well, what sauces do you have? Uh, we have sour cream, aioli, blue cheese, chipotle mayo, Mexican ranch. Um, All right, well, for the blue cheese, what's the biggest serving of sauce that you can give me? Can you put it in, like, a little container or something, or is that something that you can't do? Yeah, we can put a little container. Awesome. How big is the container? Like, how many mils are we talking here? Um, not too sure. Well, can I get, like, three of the blue cheese ones and one of the, the Chipotle one that you said as well? A side of that. Yep. And chips. Give me chips. And chips. Large. Like, large serving of chips. What? Biggest serving you can give me. Biggest serving you can give me! Um. Um, yeah. We got the large Mexican fries. Perfect! How much is all of that in total? Um, that's $57.75. $57 can you just read that back to me? Fuck! Three blue cheese and Chipotle mayo. Oh! Large Mexican fries. Come on, this is a fucking Coca Cola! It's a Coca Cola! I'm so sorry, we don't have Coca Cola. Whoa, that was good. That was so hard to listen to. I was like, shit, this is. Fuck. As soon as a little Beautiful, innocent girl like innocent, answered, I'm sorry. If you listen to that girl, boy. I'm sorry. But she was laughing at the end, so I think she knew it was a bit of a... But yeah. Man, you are good from flipping yeah. it from good to bad. I was. I could hear you in the other room. And all I could hear was like, just give me six sauces. And I was just giggling and the, the trying to block it out. Oh. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, small girl, but um, yeah, that's the problem. We got to get to Taco Boys. Yeah, we she kept. Get we're getting together. high. And we're eating Mexican. All right, we we'll see you guys later. We are the best. best. We're the best. We're, we're the best. 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 We're the best. Oh, again. Three. Cut that three, Connor. I'm really upset about that. <laughs> <laughs>